Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna cut open a pair of Promex Combatiente horse hair and foam gloves to see what's inside, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. In today's video, I've cut open a pair of these Promex Combatiente Pro Fight Gloves. These are a Mexican style puncher's glove that utilizes both horse hair and foam in the hand compartment. I did a cutting open video of a pair of Hernandez gloves about half a year ago. Um, and I got a ton of requests afterwards to do a cut open video of a horse hair style puncher's glove. Um, so here I am with these Combatiente gloves, they've served their purpose. I use these quite a bit and have really flattened out the padding, especially in the knuckle compartment. So these would be a perfect guinea pig for this video. I've already cut open the right glove. I left the left glove intact just to show you guys what it looks like when it's completely uh, put together. So I'll end up probably just hanging this somewhere in my garage as a decoration. And here is the right glove. So to show you guys the right and the left glove next to each other, obviously I have uh, the right glove cut open but we'll go ahead and look in this and kind of just dissect what, what's inside this glove now i took the laces out before i started cutting it open but let's go ahead and i guess start with the liner so you can see the liner just to show you guys uses that standard uh, satin nylon liner that you see in the vast majority of boxing gloves these gloves i believe are made in pakistan it has the round labels right there or with the six rounds each um, that you can use these gloves in a sanctioned bout. It has the tags on the inner liner here that says these are made right side. Uh, cowhide leather, horse hair, simple foam, and EVA. Um, and then the label here says also made in Pakistan. You can't really see it's kind of faded. There's a gold piping. They use more of a silkier tricot material on the outside of the glove i mean not outside but the i guess you can say the perimeter or this flat side of the glove so the wrist area they use that kind of liner and then there's a padding on the inside right there um, which you can actually see when i show you guys this so the padding on the wrist so the back of the wrist right here just try to get my bearings here you go that's a little bit better look so the padding the padding on the wrist uses a latex it looks like or eva that is actually glued to the gold leather right there. So there's a leather, that piece is actually glued to that. And then they use this simple cell foam right here to line that. So there's this, the foam that they use on the inside. Um, that's pretty soft. You can see and squish that pretty easily. So there's that, and toss that over. Um, and then that's just, that's it for the wrist. There's the liner right there. Now coming to the glove, just to show you guys. So it looks like the horse here is actually sandwiched in between. So first layer is gonna be the leather. And then what's on the leather, underneath the leather, is gonna be that same foam I showed you guys earlier. And then what looks like to be like a piece of latex right here, simple foam. And then you also have kind of a cloth liner right there that is uh, stitched in there. And then from there, you have it encased with the satin liner. And this satin liner actually is what holds the horse hair inside. So you can see when I open that, you have this horse hair. So it does indeed have this horse hair padding. So I'm going to take some of this hair out. Hopefully that's horse hair. If that was human hair, that'd be kind of weird. But you have that horse hair padding. I'm pretty sure that's what it is or some, something synthetic. Can't tell if it's real or not. I'm not a hair expert. But you have that horsehair padding that gives it that more punchers-like feel. And then almost like a styrofoam material right there that I guess is used as like a liner that butts up against that material. So that satin material. So you can see right here over the knuckle area, again, looking at by layer by layer, I'm trying to clean this up so you guys can see it a little bit better. So 
First layer is gonna be this open cell foam. Then you have this closed cell foam. Then you have that liner that keeps this horse here inside. And then on top of the liner, you have another piece of like foam styrofoam. And then you have some kind of nylon material. Like, I don't even know what that is. That's butted up against that. And then you have EVA. So the EVA is gonna be blue. That's gonna be your densest foam. And they placed it right over the knuckle area. You can see it's not all the way through. They just put it right over where your knuckle is at so you get the maximum. That's really gonna be where you get that pop from, but you're also gonna get the, the, the actual uh, protection of your hand, or you can say the, the shock dispersion. Sorry, I was trying to look for my words there. So all of this right here, these foams, including the horse hair, that's really to give you that nice feedback and for your knuckles to really sink in through this glove. This little sliver of EVA right there and this little closed cell foam right here, that's gonna give you a little bit more protection. So that's really, those two, and that's if, if you wanna really look at it, you really have one, two, three, four, five layer, five layers of foam if you don't include this horse hair. Uh, and the horse hair is pretty much sandwiched in between that and then obviously the, the inside liner. Uh, then you have the grip bar right here. So that's the grip bar that has this little foam piece, if I could pull it out. It's almost like you can use this, to stick this in your nose to clot a, a bloody nose. So you have that, and that's the actual grip bar, so there's nothing in there anymore. Um, and that's that's pretty much it, but you can see that just the consistency and the kind of foam they're using here is pretty cool. And here's the thumb. Let me see if I could kind of get this thumb shown to you guys. To you guys. And here's the thumb compartment also that goes inside there. This is kind of the, the index finger. Here is this little, so you know, sometimes you see that little lump on the outside of the glove. Well, here's that piece of foam. And that lump is this guy right here that, that kind of forms that shape. You often see that ridge. And that's basically that right there that forms that little ridge. And they, they stick a piece of foam on the inside there to, to reinforce that. So there you have it. I mean, that's your pretty standard horsehair glove. I'm sure depending on the manufacturer and uh, the build of the glove, some of them may maybe have some variance with that, but that's a pretty cool construction. All things considered, you, you have horse hair. You know, you have five layers of foam, including the EVA. And if, uh, if you guys haven't checked it out already, make sure you guys check it out. I actually did a review on these gloves and there's some awesome gloves. I mean, they're super broken in, super soft, excellent pop and feedback. And now you can see why. You can see just the consistency of the padding inside and why there's so much feedback. Now, I'd assume if you're getting like a pair of sparring gloves and you cut them open, that uses like multi-layer foam padding, you're obviously not gonna have horse hair and you're probably gonna have thicker sheets of foam of different density. So when you, when you punch, the way that this compresses down will be much more denser and it's not gonna have as much give um, as a horse hair style glove like this. I mean, you can see here just by me kind of pinching the layers together, that's how much padding you're really getting in there all together so you know that's optimal to cause a lot of damage to your opponent if you're using this in a pro fight because uh, that's pretty much a minimal amount of foam to protect your knuckles from hitting their face so maximum damage this is a perfect glove for those of you that are looking to be more offensive minded and you want to really land some hard shots so there you have it there's the pro max or what used to be the Pro Mask Combatiente Pro Fight Gloves. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below. If you guys have any suggestions for other videos that we can cut open a pair of gloves, hopefully not a pair of winnings or grants, um, let me know, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.